Welcome to this episode of Imp Art. I have another story that I would like to share with you. Uh, this story I wrote when I was about maybe 13 or 14 years old. I wrote it one Sunday during a church sermon because like, I grew up going to church a lot, a fucking lot. And so I got bored during the sermon sometimes. And since I was having to listen to stories all the time, I decided to write some of my own. Now, <clears throat> this story that I'm about to share with you, my sister thought that it was a pretty funny story or else she just wanted to keep the stories I wrote because that's how sisters are sometimes. And uh, my mom ended up finding this story along with another one. And <laughs> she, let's say, um, tried to pray the devil out of me the next time we went to church. Uh, I had a lot of people lay their hands on me and uh, try to get rid of whatever demons was inside. Uh, that worked really well because here we are uh, 30 some years later. I'm still telling stories and making things up uh, You gotta love your parents though. They try <clears throat> But the, yeah, this story <laughs> Landed me in some hot water uh, And I don't even think it's really that bad. So I'll just go ahead and here we go um, So there was a little boy who one morning he got up and was hankering for some cereal but they didn't have any cereal. And there was one cereal he liked particularly. It was Kix. You know, kid tested, mother approved Kix. Um, it was a staple of breakfasts back in the 80s and 90s. I'm not even sure if they make it anymore. But this little boy wanted to go get his Kix. And uh, so he was like, hey mom, I'm going to the grocery store to get some kicks. And she was like, all right, be careful. And so the boy runs outside, grabs his bike, because kids used to ride bikes wherever they went. And even if you lived five, 10 miles from a store, it was not weird to ride a bike to the store to pick something up. And uh, we didn't have Uber Eats or DoorDash or things like that back then. We just had to physically do it like do physical activity, which is probably why kids in the 80s and 90s seem to be a little thinner than they are these days. But anyway, this kid jumps on his bike and he's riding along and he notices a rock on the side of the road that looks like it would make a great pet rock. So he stops and he picks it up and puts it in his pocket and then he goes on. Well, as he's approaching the grocery store, he, uh, sees this woman standing on the corner and she notices something in his pocket. By this time, the boy had gotten off the bike and was just walking beside his bike because he was about to go in the store. And this woman notices this big bulge in his pocket. This woman just happened to be a hooker and she had been fucked so many times but never by like big dicks. And she saw this kid who looked like he had this huge package. And she grabs the kid and takes him down the back alley, rips his pants down, only to find that he has a little shrimp dick, a tiny dick, probably the smallest dick she's ever seen. And it just makes her furious. So she <laughs> starts stomping on the kid's dick and balls, just yelling, Ah, false package, false package, and just smashes his shit. I know some people, since I've gotten older, I've realized some people's into that, but this little kid wasn't. This like destroyed this little kid. He was so hurt. She runs off. And the moral of the story is, when out to get your kicks, don't display a false package or you may end up with crushed nuts. And that's the story that my mom found and read and was very upset about it. And even to this day, when I think about it, I'm like, I don't understand why you would get so upset. Like it had a good moral, you know? Like, I don't even know if she got to the moral part of the story or if she just saw the first dick word. <laughs> I don't really know, but anyways, 
Yeah, there's that story. If you enjoyed the story and would like to hear more, you know, hit like, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, because I've got more stories. <laughs> See you next time.